When you're designing a website for someone else or for your own business, it's all about saving time. It used to take me forever to create these pages one by one, and now with the shortcuts, it is going much faster. <laughs> Today we're gonna to cover six Divi shortcuts that will really speed up your workflow and help you build your web pages a lot faster. So keyboard shortcuts are like the the thing I live for. I love making them and I love like doing little text edit shortcuts and stuff. And so I wanted to show you some stuff that can really speed up your web page creation, okay? So let's go into a Divi page right here. So let's say I wanted to create another row under this one right here. So I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. Now you could just duplicate that and that would go faster and then you can just start editing from there. Uh, Waits. But let's say you didn't do that and instead that you created a brand new row of three columns with blurbs in them and you were trying something new. Maybe you had a title with an icon. So I'm gonna use an icon here and it looks like that. And then if I wanted to duplicate this, I'd duplicate it twice and drag it over. And then let's say at the end of the day, I was like, ah, I just really like this design right here. Well, what you can do is you can right click on this module and click copy module styles, come right down to this one, right click, and then paste module styles and it will match it. So it's a real quick way if you decide that Maybe you don't like a certain design that you were going with to change it on the go. And then likewise, when we're talking about keyboard shortcuts, you can hit Option Apple C on a Mac, and that will actually copy the style here. So I'm gonna hit Option Command C, and then Option Command V, and it will paste it there and paste it there. So it works really quickly, really good keyboard shortcuts to match the style from one module to another without having to scroll your hand around the mouse. One of the things that annoyed me about Divi was always having to go into uh, the settings page or always have to go back to a different uh, post or something that I needed to reference. Well, what you can do is you can hit shift spacebar and you can type open pages and then this is gonna give you all your pages right here that you can open. So if you wanted to reference another page really fast, this is a quick way to do it without having to hit back, dashboard pages, so on and so forth. It removes three or four clicks from the process. Compound that over you know, two, three hours when you're creating your web pages, that saves you a lot of time. Third shortcut for Divi that's gonna really speed things up is creating base templates for whatever you're working with. So for example, let's say you're working with this heading style and this paragraph style, and then this button style. Now they'll probably be pretty similar throughout the website, but instead of going and creating a text and then formatting it up every time, it's way easier to save these modules as templates. So we're gonna do this. We're going to click on this downward arrow over this headline, and I'm just going to type in yoga site header, and I'm going to just save it to the library. I'm gonna do the same thing for this paragraph. I'm just gonna click the downward arrow. I'm gonna call this yoga site paragraph and then the last thing for this button and then we've kind of got like some common properties that we can just quickly pull up so again save it as a template yoga site button and then we've got it all so now we're not starting from zero which can save us 10 15 seconds but again multiply that by three or four hours in Divi and it's gonna save you a lot of time so let's say I wanted to create a brand new section and I wanted it to just be a regular section we'll give it one column and then we'll give it a background color of, let's just say blue or something like that. But now instead of having to build the text one by one, all we have to do is click this module, add from library, and there's our header. There is our paragraph right here. And then here is our button right below it. So already we've saved a lot of time from having to recreate these modules, especially if you're kind of using them one after the other. The fourth Divi shortcut that's gonna save you a lot of time, Apple, plus Apple minus. So whenever you're working in Divi, you're gonna wanna see what it looks like on a phone, uh, a tablet, and a desktop. But a lot of people will go down here and will use these and it just takes time. So let's say you've got a, you wanna take this word out right here and then you wanna see it on desktop and that's not quite right, so you gotta go back. It just wastes a lot of time. But when you hit Command plus, you can actually zoom in and zoom out all you want to and you're hands barely leave the keyboard. Again, these seem like small movements, but when you compound them, you're going to save a lot of minutes in your web design process, which as a business owner or as a freelancer is going to be very good for your pocket 
purse. Something that kind of goes along with this is if you ever want to jump out to the wireframe view, all you have to do is hit Shift W and immediately you are taken to the wireframe view. There it is. So let's say you are in mobile and you wanted to get to wireframe really quick without clicking through or even Apple plusing the whole way, Shift W is gonna take you right there. Divi shortcut number five is a little bit similar to our second one. What a lot of people don't know is that you can seriously copy and paste modules like you can copy and paste text. So let's say I wanted to just copy this headline right here and move it somewhere. Instead of going in, duplicating it, I'm saving myself clicks and I'm hitting Command C, all right? So Command C and then Command V, it's gonna paste it right underneath it. You can do it all day. Let's go over to this lady. Again, Apple C, Control C if you're on a PC, and then Apple V, and it will paste it right underneath it. So again, if you're trying to create a bunch of modules, the regular copy and paste works great. The last shortcut of the day is one that I use all the time, and it's how we can quickly get into the visual builder from different pages. Every time you open the visual builder, you've got to go to the page, pull it up, you've got to leave the site, then you've got to click on enable visual builder. It takes a second for the page to load and it's just spending very valuable seconds that you might or might not have. However, to quickly jump into the visual builder from any page, all you have to do is know the name of that page. So let's say I wanted to automatically go to the visual builder on my contact page. All I'm gonna do is come up here. I'm going to scroll to the right, change the process to contact. And then you want to make sure this right here is plugged in. Pasting in that question mark ETFB equals one and page speed off thing is going to take you directly into the visual builder. Let's you bypass all that other stuff on all the clicks. All right. So if I wanted to go to the contact visual builder right off, I just enter that page address right here, copy and paste the secret key and boom, it takes you straight into the contact page visual builder. You don't have to click anything. See, I'm already in the visual builder right now, so it's great. Hope that was helpful. Again, when you're designing a website for someone else or for your own business, it's all about saving time. Learning shortcuts is, is like learning anything else. It takes a little bit of repetition, but if you sit with it for about five minutes or maybe do 10 reps of each shortcut, they're gonna become ingrained in your muscle memory, and before you know it, you'll be flying through it. It used to take me forever to create these pages one by one, and now with the shortcuts, it is going much faster. Divi's always iterating and making cool new shortcuts and things like that too, so always keep on the lookout. In fact, if you ever wanna check out the shortcuts, all you have to do is open up this uh, purple menu down here, and you can go to this question mark, and boom, there are all your keyboard shortcuts. I think there's over like 50 shortcuts in the Divi theme. So just spend some time with those, see what you can come up with, see what might help your workflow, and use it to your advantage. I'm Brandon Styles. Thanks for watching. Let me know if that helped. Please give us a like in the comments. And uh, if you have any questions or, or want to see any videos about the Divi theme or business-based web development in general, let me know. See you next time.